Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Daniela, your independent Sensi consultant. And today the video I have for you is what is going away on December 31st. So these are all really great items. If there's something that you love, um, definitely put it in your club before December 31st. And if it's something that you want to get more of or you haven't tried yet and you want to try it before it's gone, make sure to go to my website. It's daniellahuff.sensi.us and pick up whatever the items are that you're interested in. So there's a ton of things that are going away, which is so sad. Um, but I'm just going to go down the list. I have like a whole list of the things. And I have most of the scents here. Um, there's a couple I'm missing, but most of the scents here. And then I'll talk about the other things as well. So the first thing that is going away is September's scent of the month, which is Frosted Cinnamon Roll. And find the paper. I have all of the scent notes. Well, most of the scent notes ready to go. Also, um, the scent notes on this, it's a bakery scent. It is an irresistible blend of powdered cinnamon and a pinch of sweet clove topped with a gooey layer of whipped vanilla sugar. And if you don't know, I'm rating my bars now. And five is I'm gonna club it. Four is I need more of it, not sure if I'm gonna club it. Three is I might repurchase, especially if it's on clearance. Two is it's all right, I'll warm it. Um, and one is no thank you. So this one is actually a four. I did get more of this, but I am not going to club it. I don't need to have it, um, but it's definitely good. You can smell. Some people said they can't smell like the, the like a cream cheese um, frosting scent, but I do. And I don't really love cream cheese. Um, I'll eat it. Like, I don't hate it. But um, it's just not my favorite. But it definitely has that cinnamon. It's got that, like, ooey-gooey bread smell to it as well. So that's a good one um, if you're looking for that one. It is September scent of the month. So uh, I believe it's four months back they retire it. Like, once it's been four months that the scent has been out. Um, so, yeah, that's that one. And the scent, the scent, the warmer of the month for September, which is wicked cute. I'll put it here, hopefully. Uh, that will be leaving us as well. It's a cute little witch warmer. And the next thing I do not have with me right here, but I have one of them, um, are the Bring Back My Buddies Buddies. So there was three of them. There was Bailey the Bunny, which is the one I have. So soft, like so soft. Um, Farah the Flamingo and Serena the Sleepy Bear. Serena the Sleepy Bear is sold out, um, but I will put a pictures of them right here. Um, that one sold out. I was going to get that one for my nephew. He's three months old, um, for Christmas and he sold out, but I got him Hamish the baby buddy instead. So he's super cute too. So I'm okay with that. And the next thing is the bring back my washer whiffs. <laughs> There's a lot of bring back mice happening here. Um, those ones were coconut cotton, ocean, and shimmer. Coconut cotton is described as, does it not give me the scent description? Oh, here it is. I found it. It's described as sun-warmed cotton, creamy coconut milk, bright citrus, and white sandalwood transport you to a cabana on a tropical beach. So that's coconut cotton. And then shimmer is described as sweet cherries, velvety apricots, and sens sensual, sensual white musk crowned with a tiara of shimmer shimmering spun sugar. I cannot read today. Okay. I say that in every video. Maybe I just can't read <laughs> in general. Uh, ocean is described as, now I can't find it. Cool. Oh, there it is. Cool and refreshing aquatic notes deepened with water lilies and ocean breezes. So those are the bring back my washer whiffs. If you're interested in those. And they are also retiring the December curated bundles. Um, I think that you can still get the scents in them because I believe that they're catalog scents. Um, but just the bundles in general are going to retire. And then Disney's 100th anniversary 
celebration products which I believe is this one which is magical celebration it's a fruity scent and it's described as larger than life orange red berry and sweet peony peony is that who say that capture the wonder of the happiest celebration I have not warmed this yet it's I smell the peony in here. I do like peony. Peony is not one that I am, um, I don't like a lot of floral scents, but I do like peony. So that is in there and it's not, it's not the worst scent. Um, the other things in that collection, let me just pull it up. Oh, that's the only thing in the collection because they do not have the warmer anymore. So, um, this one I would give probably a three. I like it. I might buy more of it in clearance if it ever ended up in clearance, but um, it's it's not my favorite. So that's that one. And then the next one is this one I'm kind of sad about, but it is the Dumbo collection. So there is a warmer for the Dumbo collection and I'm surprised because I feel like this just came out, but there's a warmer, um, a Dumbo Buddy and a scent pack as well, which is in Circus Parade. And then both of the wax bars are also ret retiring. Um, the first one is Circus Parade, so I'll give you those scent notes. And this is described as delight in sweet clementine, creamy peach, and fresh mango and vanilla bean. So I love this one. Um, I really like peach. Peach is like one of my favorite scents. I'm not big on mango. Uh, but peach and vanilla are like my my favorites. This is in my club and it will stay in my club. I really love this one. Uh, so that's five. And then the, and that's what the scent pack is in also, if you do like that scent. The other one is called Soar High Through the Sky. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. There we go. And it is described as soar high above the clouds where thrills and delights abound with apple, melon, magnolia, and candied fruit. I do like this one. Um, I haven't warmed it yet. It is in my club right now, but I think it will be coming out of my club because I have a few bars of it and I don't think I need that much. So I would say this is probably a four. Um, I do like it, but I, again, I haven't warmed it. I have warmed Circus Parade and I'll, I love that one and it's um, a great one in my classroom as well. The kids like it. So this one is a four for me. I like it. It has been in my club, but it's gonna probably come out. Um, next thing is the, ah, oh, that's the one thing I didn't bring down. I should've brought that down. I thought I brought that down. Hi, yeah, yeah, I did not. Um, the Nightmare Before Christmas 30th Anniversary Bundle. So this is, sorry, I keep looking down. I'm looking at my iPad to make sure that I'm giving you the right information because I don't want to give you the wrong information. So this bundle was the Jack and Sally warmer and a brick of Jack's obsession. I love that scent. It is in my club. It's going to stay in my club. It's like an apple and spices scent. Actually, let me see. Normally I'm so prepared and I feel like I'm not prepared at all today. It is described as Eureka, this cauldron full of apple spiced with clove and cinnamon makes for a ghoulish grand brew. I love that one. Um, it's not the same as apples, apple and cinnamon sticks. That one is uh, much spicier. And I think that has a little pumpkin in it. This one doesn't. And I like it a lot because it is like apple and cinnamon. Like that's all I smell. Apples and cinnamon. So, um, and I love that scent. I love apple scented things like Johnny Appleseed is one of my favorites. So that is something I love. Um, but if you're interested in that one, that will be going away soon. So next one is so many things are going away. It's kind of sad. Um, I know like it's almost spring and we have a new catalog that comes out in, I think it's March. Um, so like I get that <laughs> and it's not like the holidays anymore. Well, today when I'm filming this is Christmas Eve, so it is, but it's not going to be the holidays anymore. So I get that they're like moving things along, but it's just kind of sad because I like a lot of these things. All right. 
The next one is the Disney Villains Collection. I have two of the bars. I don't know how many are in this. I think there's, there are three, three cents, and I have two of them. Um, they are Poor Unfortunate Souls, and I have not warmed this one. This is, can I find it? Sorry, that's probably, it's right next to the microphone, so that's probably really loud. This one is an alluring potion of wild blackberry, scarlet raspberry, and bubbly gojo berry, goji berry wrapped up in a vengeful, vengeful vanilla silk will leave you spellbound. I cannot read. I need to stop filming like late at night because my brain, although I'm a night owl, my brain doesn't seem to read very well at night. I like this one. It is um, berry smelling, like berry scented. But it's not one that I need to club. I don't need more of it. It's good, but it's not It's not like anything special to me, to my nose. Um, so I would say this is probably like a three. I will warm it. I like it, but I'm not going to buy more of it. And the next one is Just One Bite. And this is described as... The temptation is too much to resist when poisoned apple hidden deep in a in forest woods blends with warm cinnamon and menacing black molasses. I do like this one a lot. I have warmed this one. Um, this probably a three though. If it comes up in clearance, I would get more of it. I do like it. It's just not like my number one apple scent. My number one apple scent, Johnny Appleseed. My second number one apple scent is Jack's Obsession. So that's probably a three for me. And then the other one is Dark and Devious and it is brooding black pepper, star anise, and cinnamon stir up a plot with smoked absinthe and ancient hemlock for the ultimate revenge. I am such a slow reader tonight. The other things that are um, also leaving is the Ursula Scentsy Buddy and that has the Poor Unfortunate Soul scent pack the scent pack itself, and the um, three fragrance flowers. Well, I'm assuming they're all leaving because it said the Disney Villains collection. So I'm assuming all of that is leaving. And, okay, next thing is, what's the next thing? The Harvest Collection. The Harvest Collection is leaving as well. And that's kind of a bummer because I really like some of the scents in the Harvest Collection. But I don't know that I'm going to club them. But I do like them. So the first one is Dutch Apple Bread. And this is an empty. I actually have this warming in my room right now. Um, that's why it's empty. Because I just used it up. And it is described as fresh sliced apple tossed in warm cinnamon, brown sugar, and rolled oats. I really like this one. It's like the inside of an apple pie. It's very good to me. Um... I have bought more of this. I am probably not going to club it. I don't know. I'm probably not. Um, I have a lot of bakery scents that I like. So this one is, I like it. I'm just not. It's probably, uh, it's like a four. It's like I'm on the verge of clubbing it. I buy more of it, but I don't know. It's not like a five, like I must have that forever. So. The next one is Cashmere Leaves, and this is a fruity scent. It's Delicate Falling Leaves Brush Crisp Apple and Cashmere Spice. And I like this one a lot. It does have like a kind of like smokier, woodsier um, vibe to it, but I do like it. I have bought more of it, but it's not one I'm going to club, so this is probably a three and a half, four. I do like it. Um... That's the right one. Okay. Next one is Forever Fall. And this is a bakery scent. And it is baked pumpkin and cinnamon stick. Celebrate the sweetness of the season with a dash of brown sugar. I like this one, but I don't love it. This is a three for me for sure. Um, I do like it. I feel like wax just got everywhere. I don't even know. I do like it. Um, but it's just not, not my favorite in the world. I do love though. Look at the pattern on that one. That one's so pretty. Also, ignore my nails if you see them. They're very grown out, and I need to put new ones on, but we're going to Disneyland in a week, and so I didn't want to put new ones on and then I have to take them off and put new ones on again. So I might paint them for a couple days, but they're very grown out, so ignore that. Next one. 
white pumpkin and driftwood. That one's pretty too. Crisp white pumpkin and driftwood burn burnished by white cardamom and warm solar amber. I do like this one, but it is an overpowering one. I warmed this in my bedroom um, the first time and it was just very strong. Um, so keep that in mind. It's it's very strong for a small room. Um, maybe in an open space. If you like woodsy scents, this is a good one. Um, I don't need more of it. It's a three for me. I do like it and I do I have warmed it and I did like it on warm. It's just very strong. And the last one in this collection is Fall Into Love. I love the like detail on the packaging of these things. Um, fresh orange peel and cool eucalyptus embrace sweet balsam. This one is very woodsy, not woodsy, um, like treesy, not really woodsy, but like more like the tree, not like the woods. Um, it's all right. It's probably like a two for me. I'll finish this, this one up, but I don't need more. Um, I still have six, six, uh, cubes of that one. So probably a two. Next collection is the holiday collection. This one's leaving as well. And I managed to find one of everything. <laughs> I was like searching everywhere for everything in all of the places trying to find one of everything. And I am missing a couple of things. One, like the, the dark and devious, I never got that one. So um, there's that, but there, yeah, there's a couple things that I don't have, but that's okay. This one is from the holiday collection. It is cranberry candy cane. And I have not warmed this one. Um, cranberry is not my favorite. It is described as in a twist on a traditional treat, fresh cranberries and pomegranate are swirled with peppermint sticks. It's fine. Like, it's not terrible. I do like... It's a decent scent. It's probably a two and a half for me. I would warm it. I'd be fine with it. It's something like my mom would like more than me. Um, my mom likes more cranberry scented things and I don't really. Um, but it's not something that I'd like walk in and be like, oh, I hate this. Which, I mean, it takes a lot for me to hate, hate a scent because I really like scents and I really like all of the different scents at first I didn't and now that like I've been doing this longer it's like I love everything I feel like I don't love everything but I like everything like I'm like oh that's a good scent oh that's a good scent so um it's a good scent <laughs> it's just not one that I need to keep around because I don't love cranberry so we'll use it I might give it to my mom I don't know I haven't decided yet next one is rum plum rum pum. rum pum plum that is the biggest tongue twister. And this one is described as sweet plum jam and vanilla sugar in a flaky buttery crust will have you singing a delicious melody. And I love this one. Um, it looks like I've only used one cube, but I have a couple of bars of this in my house. And um, I've used quite a few cubes of it in various places. But this one is so good. It's got that... Um, let that crust scent to it and I love this one it's bakery and I love bakery I'm not usually big on plum I don't like eating plums but this one smells good so I like that one a lot um it's probably like a, a four because I have several of them next one is vanilla barnwood and this is described as barnwood covered with creamy creamy vanilla and rich amber conjure a picturesque snow covered countryside. I bet you never watched somebody who struggles with reading so much. It's terrible. I'm a teacher too. It's, that's, this is why I teach first grade and not like third grade where they have to read those like long books and stuff to kids because I stumble on my words all the time. First graders don't care thankfully. And it's a good example to them that it's okay to struggle. So that's what we go with. I love this one. It's like a, I don't even know how to describe this one. Yeah, it kind of, kind of got like a vanilla suede vibe to it. I don't know. I like this one a lot. Um, it, it's in my club or it was in my club. I think I might've taken it out. I have a few. 
I have several. So it's definitely a four. I don't know if it's going to be in my club forever, but it's vanilla barnwood. Next one is Sleigh Ride. And this is described as journey through the snow amid crisp air, fallen fir needle, and a touch of tart cranberry. This is just trees. It's just pine. That's what it smells like to me. It's straight up pine trees. It's good. I don't know that I need my house to smell like it. I have several bars of this because it came in like a whiff box. It came in the sense of the season. Sense, not sense of the season. Holiday collection. It came in the holiday collection. Um, and I got two holiday collections. One for me and one for my mom. But my mom doesn't like the scent. So I have two from that. And then one, yeah, I have like three or four bars of this. So not going to buy more. I probably wouldn't have repurchased myself. Um, it's all right. It's like a, a two, maybe a three. And the last one is Cherry's Jubilee. This is make room for dessert, black cherry simmered with raspberry and a refreshing burst of zesty lemon. I got lemon that time and I've never gotten lemon on this before. I definitely get the cherry. The cherry is so strong in this. Um, it's not bad. I actually liked this warmed better than I did, um, not warmed, on cold. But I would say it's probably like a three. I'll use it. I like it. Um, don't need more of it. Okay. The next thing that's leaving is so sad. And it is the Holiday Bricks. So the Holiday Bricks came like this. Big old brick. Looks like I don't like this one, but I do. I love this one. Um, a big old brick. And it is almost a pound of wax, I think. Something like that. This says 15.3 fluid ounces. Net weight, 13.5 ounces. I don't know what that means. Um, little bit smaller than a regular brick. Little bit they're a little, a little smaller than a regular brick, you know, a little bit smaller, it's a little taller, Oops. similar. Um, but the brick collection, these scents, some of them are old, some of them are new, and they came back. Some of them came back, but they were only in brick. I'm not making any sense. They were only in brick form. So um, it was Cozy Kitchen, Holy Jolly Cider, Forever Flannel, Orange Spice and Everything Nice, and Candy Apple. Um, I got two bricks. I got Cozy Kitchen and Holly Jolly Cider. And I did not get the other ones in brick. But I did get them in a bar form. Two of them. Not Candy Apple. I got Forever Flannel and orange spice and everything nice in a bar form in Scentsy Club because if there are bricks and you don't want a full brick of it and it's available you should be able to put it in your club as a bar so that's what I did and love that so I was very excited for that because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like those scents and like I knew I would like Cozy Kitchen it just sounded like so perfect for me um and Holly Jolly Cider sounded really good like my mom would like it a lot so I knew that those ones I would like, but I wasn't sure about Forever Flannel and I wasn't, especially that I think there's lavender in Forever Flannel and I don't like lavender. Um, and Orange Spice and Everything Nice, I wasn't sure about. I didn't get Candied Apple, Candy Apple because um, I'm just not a big Candy Apple fan. So let me read to you the scent notes of these. Start with Candy Apple since I don't have that one. It's tart green apples with a sweet candy accent. I didn't get it because I watched some videos of people who had had it before because it was winter candy apple or something before and they said it was really like like candied apple like not apple but like the candied apple scent and I don't really like that so I didn't go for that one. The next one was Cozy Kitchen. These are so cute too like how adorable is that? It's also really large. It's the size of my head. Cozy Kitchen is an enticing mix of warm oats, brown sugar, and spicy cinnamon swirl. I love bakery. I love anything with vanilla, cinnamon, brown sugar. Brown sugar is like, I love brown sugar. Like, if you're making cookies, it better be with brown sugar. 
um I don't really like well I like white sugar cookies also but like brown sugar makes chocolate chip cookies so much better so oh god it smells so good I can smell it from here oh uh, yeah this is great um this is a five it is already in my club I have a few bars of it already I know it looks like I haven't gone through much um but that's because I've been trying to go through these other scents so that I can like smell them and I feel like because I am not new to Scentsy because I've, I've been around Scentsy forever like I had I was a consultant in 2014 um so nine years ago and I have a lot of Scentsy bars from back then still but I was new to like all these new scents it was like a whole catalog of new scents right because it was like 80 80 cents and only a few of them were ones that I knew so I was trying to like warm all these things and learn all the different scents and and try them out and see which ones I liked Usually there's like 10 new scents a year, but like 70 of them are like returning, but I didn't know those 70. So I had to like, you know, warm different things. And so I couldn't really use all that much of this yet, but I will, I will because I love this so much. Um, and now that I'm like starting to go through some bars and like actually like have empties, which I'm gonna film an empties video also. Um, Cause I actually have empties. Not a ton. There's still not a ton, but one day it's going to be a ton because I have a lot of halves now. So as I start to go through them, like I will have more, but, um, I feel like I'm just blabbing. I don't even know. I love this one. That's the point. It's a uh, five for sure. Next one is a forever flannel. And I have this in a bar form, like I said, and it is described as get comfy with soft lavender, warm sandalwood, and an inviting touch of bergamot. So like I said, I don't like lavender I do like bergamot like I've had some essential oils that were bergamot and I liked it um some people don't and I think I like sandalwood but I'm not quite sure I have not warmed this yet but it smells so good I love it um it's in my club right now fluffy fleece is my favorite like clean scent and this is like similar to fluffy fleece so if fluffy fleece is not in the spring catalog when we transfer to the spring catalog I will put fluffy fleece in my club and then probably take this one out um but for now it's in my club and I'm I'm getting a couple more bars when my club comes soon this is a, a five right now could be a four um I like it a lot like it's a really good one next one is holly jelly cider just so cute this one I've used a lot of well not a lot I've used four keeps <laughs> Um, Holly Jolly Cider is warm apple cider infused with cinnamon stick and a whiff of evergreen. This is not too strong in the evergreen. Um, it's very cidery. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, this one's just a really good one. It's a good, like, Christmassy scent that's not super overpowering for people. Um, the other day I had cinnamon pine cone and that one was really strong. And I had to switch to this, which was not as strong, but still gives you like that holiday, holiday scent. Um, cinnamon pine cones really strong. So yeah, usually I like my scent strong. So I do take, well, strong as I'm saying that, um, I like them to be like, you can smell them. I don't want them to be like, I don't know. <laughs> cinnamon pine cones, I think too much for me, but I will put a whole cube in my warmers. It's about three regular cubes um they're a little bit different some of them are different these are a little bit more than two cubes i think these little ones on the sides this little one down here is two cubes i think and then these are like three or four around there um usually i only put two cubes in a box or in a box in a warmer but that one i will put a full cube even though it's like four because i'm too lazy to cut them that's the sole reason. Oh yeah, that's good. I love this one. So this is a, this one's, mm, this one's a five right now. I do love it. I don't know. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with that one. It's in my club right now, but it might, it might come out soon. Next one is, these are all the bricks. Again, holiday bricks. Um, the only ones you can get right now is Holly Jolly Cider and um, Orange Spice and Everything Nice on the what's the thing called on the website <laughs> but as a brick but if you want them in the 
bars i believe you can still put all of them in your club until the 31st in bar form so keep that in mind if you do want to try them put them in your scentsy club because then you can get them try them out as a smaller bar and decide from there if you want to keep them in there or not so orange spice and everything nice is look at how pretty that is freshly brewed winter orange tea with hints of mold spices and vanilla bean i love mold spice that's like one of my favorite scents this one's so this one's so like torn up because i dropped it a couple times it's really good though i like this one a lot i let the orange really comes through um this one's not in my club it's probably like four th three or four i have several of them so that's a good one all right the next thing on the list is the scentsy holiday favorites collection which are some warmers that came back um that were like really old warmers but they brought them back as like a special holiday collection so some of them are sold out the ones that are still available are the heavenly warmer and the jolly warmer and i'll pop them up here and maybe here um those two are still available the other ones are sold out already oh the next one is a holly the hippopotamus i'll pop her right here she is so cute i have her i should have brought her downstairs but i didn't sorry but she's right here she's sold out though so you can't get her um her little her, her little mini this is what she looks like but this is the mini but she's sold out so you can't get her anyway um which is such a bummer because she was so cute she is so cute um the mini the mini the the buddy clip you can only get um in the whiff box anyway so cute though i love it so that one's already sold out so yeah. I'll show you a picture, but it's not really doing you any good because you can't get it. Um, what else is there? The Marvel collection is also going away. They are ending their um, licensing agreement with Marvel. I cannot. My brain is it's, it's gone. I say this every time, but it's gone. Um, so there, check those out though. If you're interested in Marvel stuff, click on my website, wherever it is in the description. Um, because a lot of the stuff is on sale. So go check that out. Um, there's a Marvel warmer. I actually got that for my dad for Christmas. And there's the Black Panther wall plug-in. And the Groot Sensi Buddy is still there. Um, the, there's a Captain America warmer, and then there's the Marvel Nine Realms scent bar and scent pack, and those are described as a heroic mix of lime zest and blue tea keeps keeps you connected to the universe while lavender lightning really packs a punch. And the next thing is the sense of the season sense of the season collection so this was a five bar collection and it came like this in this cute little box love this little box and it has five bars like i said this is this is a, a bummer well at least this one i like this one a lot this is caramel praline cake and it is sweet praline in a a mix a splash of buttery vanilla covered in caramel drizzle this one's really good it's it's bakery it's very bakery it's very there's a bit of caramel in there no there's a lot of caramel in there there's a lot of caramel in there um a little bit of praline i can smell that too um this is a very good one i like this one i have quite a few bars of it it's probably a four i'd get more if it was in clearance um or if it was available but i don't know that i'm gonna club it next one is peppermint rush and this is described as peppermint sweet vanilla and in a quart of freshly fallen snow it smells like toothpaste to me i don't like it um it's a one not my fave <laughs> i'll be honest it's not my fave uh, next one is Frosted White Pine, and this one is described as Pine Needles and Crisp Greens Shiver in Winter Air. Smells like trees. It's, it smells like trees. It, it's good. Here, let me 
Let me see what the difference is here. Can I even smell a difference? I don't know. Tree smells just smell like trees to me. Nope, I can't smell any difference. Uh, tree smells smell like trees to me. So all the trees smell kind of similar to me. So I don't I don't have a good uh, ability to to profile out different scents of trees. So they just smell like trees. Next one, sugar plum berry. This is described as a jolly brew of spiced citrus peels. Evergreen berries, sugar plums, and cinnamon sticks. This one is, there's like, does it say it in there? No. I guess that's evergreen berries, but it smells like evergreen. Like it smells like trees. Um, it's not as strong as the other trees, but it doesn't, it doesn't smell as strong in the bar, like on cold. But when you put it in your warmer, it's very strong tree scent, in my opinion, like when it's warmed, it comes out more, the pine um, or the evergreen or whatever it is. Uh, I guess I didn't rate this, and I didn't rate this. Did I rate this one? This one is probably a two. It's all right. Um, this one, same, two. Sugar plum berry, two. That didn't focus, I know. Next one, last one is Homestead Holiday. This is probably uh, maybe one of my favorites in the collection. This one and Caramel Praline Crit caramel praline cake um homestead holiday is described as blood orange and cinnamon freshened by fur needle i only have two cubes left um but i think i have another bar of this somewhere i like this one it gives that like holiday vibe but it's not overpowering tree you do smell the tree but the the orange balances it out more in my opinion so um I do like this one. This one's probably like a three and a half, maybe a four. I have more of it, um, so I'm not going to purchase any more of it, but I did purchase more of it, if that makes sense. Okay, and then the next one, and I think this is the last one I have to show, is the Scentspiration Collection, Christmas Cottage. And ironically, the one that I'm missing is Christmas Cottage. Um... Christmas Cottage is described as a cozy, inviting blend of Valencia oranges, raspberries, cloves, and spices. Um, I couldn't find one. <laughs> I know I have one somewhere, but I can't find it anywhere, so I don't, I don't know where that went. Um, it's all right. It's not my favorite. My mom loves that scent. It's one of her favorites. I would say it's probably like a three for me. It's not. It's one I could go without. Uh, the ones that I do have are Christmas Cottage Mint. And this is described as harvest spice and winter mint mingle in the invigorating morning air. I love this one. Um, love is a strong word. I like this one a lot. Um, three, maybe a four, I would purchase more. But I'm probably not going to before the time comes up because I don't need it in my life. It's not like I must have more of this. Uh, but if we come around to next season and they bring this out again, I would, I would repurchase. So there's that. Next one is Christmas Cottage Wreath. And this one is described as deck the halls with refreshing eucalyptus, spruce sprigs, and a sprinkle of crushed clove. Clove is not my favorite scent. I know it's in a lot of things and sometimes it's fine, but a lot of the time it, it's too overpowering for me. I do like eucalyptus. This one's all right. This is like a two, maybe three. It's all right. And the last one in this collection is my favorite. It is Christmas Cottage Cider. And like I said, I like cider scents. I like mold spice scents. This has that in it. Uh, brew some homey vibes with mold spices, cinnamon stick, and perky Valencia orange. Yep, this one's good. I like this one. This one's like a four. I thought about putting this in my club. I'm still thinking about it. I just, you know, the club gets so big and I've only been here for like six months. And so when the club gets big in just the first six months, that's probably a problem, right? So, um, I don't know. 
I might put it in there and then take it out once I have other things to put in. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, it came with a cute little box too. So that is going away. Unfortunately, hopefully we'll see some of those scents back. I know um, Candy Cane Buttercream was from a Sunspiration co co collection um, last year, I think. And they brought that back in the catalog this year. So hopefully, hopefully Christmas Cottage Cider comes back because I do love that one. Um, the last couple of things that are leaving are the Star Wars and Mandalorian collections. Um, so let's pull that up. That's a lot of things on there. Um, there's Light Side of the Forest Bar and the Dark Side of the Forest Bar and the Mandalorian Era of Adventure Bar. Um, what else? There's a lot in here. Let me tell you what the scent notes are on those. Light side of the forest is feel the forest all around you. It's here, there, in the orange groves, morning mist, and even the driftwood at the ocean's edge. That's the light side of the forest.